Hello everyone. So, I'm doing a water change today. I'm going to take out about 50%. But I want to show you uh, some of the additives and stuff that I use in my water. Because where I live, it's very, very, very soft water. So, the KH is actually zero. So, what happens with a KH of zero is you get pH swings. Now, the pH might read that my pH is seven when I do the test. But overnight, when everything's settled down, you get swings, which then causes fish to scratch, um, obviously things like that. It's uncomfortable for them. So I use buffers. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just, put, I'll just put you on pause and I'll show you the buffers that I'm using. Okay, so these are the buffers that I use. Obviously, I use safe as a water conditioner. Um, but I use this clear waters, GH buffer and KH buffer. So basically what happens is it just it just stabilizes your water from your KH and your GH range. Although my GH is high from the uh, is, is okay from the tap, when I start to add the KH buffer, my GH drops, so I need both. But I've got myself to a place now where I know how much I need. So you know each water change basically is just one scoop of each and it keeps me at a KH of six and a GH of 10, which I'm more than happy with. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, there's a, if, if anyone's got any questions around that, you know, put it in the comments because, you know. Okay, so what I'll do is I will continue with the water change. I won't bore you with the, the actual process of the water change. And then I'll come back when I'm adding the actual chemicals. See you soon. Okay, so I'm just about to start adding the water back in now. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the safe. Okay. So I just pour the safe in like that, and obviously the the water pump will, the filler will just run it round. Okay, so that's safe first. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go and mix one spoonful of KH booster and I'll show you how I had that as well. Just gonna pop you on pause. Okay so I've just mixed the one um, spoonful for KH and basically I just slowly add it to the water. And then obviously the pump throws it around the water anyway. Um, So yeah, that's the KH done. I'm just going to whack you on pause again while I go and do the, the, the GH mix. Okay, so I'm just about to add the GH buffer. And this one, this makes your tank go cloudy, but it doesn't stay cloudy for long, to be fair. Again, just add it at a slow rate, no need to chuck it in. Just so obviously the pump flows it around the tank evenly. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is a bit thicker, so you do get a cloud in your tank you do have this instinct just to throw it in but it's not a problem if you do because obviously I've got that much flow from the two FX6's that will blow it round anyway let's give that a little bit of a cause that in the water okay so the buffers are added now So again what I'll do is I'll just pop you on pause again and then I'll come back when the water change finished and just obviously talk to you a little bit about why I use them and uh, my experience of what happened to me and my waters. So again, see you in a minute. Okay, so we're back now. All the water's been added again. All buffers are added. And as you can see, the, the GH is clearing up already. Um, so just a little bit of a reason to why I use them. They, <clears throat> they, so I had a lot of problem with my water and obviously with the water being KH, you know, I've, I learned through speaking to loads of people, um, that actually it's your KH that controls your water and your GH and no, nope, people don't really check them, but it's something I check all the time and, and I never ever check my pH because I know that if my KH is okay, then my pH is okay. So it's a, my opinion, it's 
what my preference is but I, I swear by these buffers um, and the clear water ones are by far the best value for money because some of them can be quite expensive to use um, yeah so I just wanted to sort of like to share that with you guys if you liked it can you please like the video comment um, give me advice in what you're using ask any questions and also can you subscribe to my channel thank you very much see you soon